Hi ladies, I am finally back today. I'm sorry I've been absent so long for making videos and and being on Facebook also. Um, I've been sick, I've had the flu, and then my son caught the flu after me, so we've been battling that for the last couple weeks. But I just wanted to show you a video today. I have I had mentioned before that I have some new babies coming into the um, nursery, and this is one of them. And as you can tell, she's a fantasy baby. Let me see if I can get her up a little bit closer. Hopefully y'all can see. She is a clown baby, or a clown and human hybrid baby, I guess you could say. And she was painted by um, my best friend, Casey. And she was painted with air dry. She's what we call a um, experimental or fun baby that we both can work on if we feel like doing that. So she, her head is the um, angel sculpt from Battle for Baby, where she has that little double, triple chin, and then she has this, you know, her little top lip sticks out. And so I'm going to try to get her close so y'all can see her. Yeah, there you go. You can see her um, details pretty good. She has little pink, subtle um, circles on her cheeks. I don't know if it's picking that up. I think it is. And she has a little um, pink circle on her nose. And she has red top lip there because the only, really, the only lip you see is her top lip that sticks out. And she has blue, She her eyes are closed, and she has blue um, on her eyelids kind of like you know like clown makeup and then she has the black line that goes up and down that's sometimes on clowns and then she has a little dot here a little yellow dot here and a little yellow dot there and she's super cute and she has very pink highlights all over modeling and her nails are beautifully done as you can see that I think you can see that anyway and she has our brown eyebrows and um, painted brown hair but Casey's not too happy with how her hair came out so we have I have a um I may go back and do some painted more painted hair on her like pink and purple colors since she's a clown but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that and her name is Bertha May because I think she looks like a Bertha May Casey painted her kit and I assembled her and she has one cool feature besides being a clown that's pretty neat but she's very chubby I made her very chubby but in the back I actually installed this and I'm gonna see if I can wind it so y'all can hear it let me see I'm gonna have to I may have to reach back here I put it inside made a little slit and put it inside her body but I think you can hear that it's a wind up music box inside. I'm gonna hold it to the camera so you can hear. It's playing Send in the Clowns. Hopefully you can hear that. And I and put that it was perfect. I had that little music box for quite a long time. Didn't know what to do with it, but when she came along, I'm like, that's perfect. So I installed that in her cloth body, you know, inside of her body, and I just made a little slit in the fabric of her cloth body and, and let the um the wind up piece come through. So I just wind her up when I wanted to play. And so here is Bertha May. I just want to introduce you to her, and she says, Hi aunties. And she's a grumpy chubby clown. And I think she's so cute. I think Casey did a wonderful job on her. And I hope you're picking up her details. See how subtle, there you go, her cheeks are. Little circles and on her nose. It's a circle. Anyway, I'm going to lean her back. So the question I had, should I leave her with the painted hair and put hats on her? Or, or maybe, you know, add the painted hair, draw, paint the painted hair purple and pink? Or I have a crazy, funny wig. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. And y'all can vote or give me y'all's opinion if I should. And if I do give her the wig, it's not going to be permanent. I'm just going to, like, you know, attach it um, 
temporarily to her head, but I think it kind of gives her character. So tell me what y'all think. I think it kind of suits her because she makes her look crazy. It's actually very oversized for her size, but you can kind of get the idea. So tell me what y'all think. I know she looks crazy. Say yes to the wig or no to the wig. What do y'all think? Which suits her better? And the wig, she has ponytails like everywhere on the wig. So this is what she would look like with the wig. But if I do put on her, it won't be permanent. It'll kind of just be temporary so I can dress her more easily. Do y'all think she needs the wig or no? So here is Bertha May with her little wig or big wig. Her crazy wig. It kind of reminds me of um, The Who's. Like Cindy Lou Who or something. Cindy Lou Who. Her hair. So that's her with the wig. And then without. And if she goes without, she's going to probably have hats on or beanies or something. Whoops. And I actually have a bonnet on her with a flower headband over it. So if y'all want to let me know just for fun what y'all think about the wig or no wig. I kind of think she looks good either way. But just let me know. The wig might be too much. And take away from her painting and stuff. The details. But just let me know what y'all think. If I just leave her like she is or give her a wig. She has a pillow behind her to sit her up a little better so y'all can see her details better. So I wanted to show you her, and I'm going to show you a quick haul that I actually won, like a um, giveaway from um, a very sweet lady named Georgia, and she's in the Reborn World. And here is, I'm going to show you the clothes real quick. This is a 12-month outfit. It's kind of small for 12 months. Um, and it's a little dress. It's really cute. I love the color scheme on this. I'm just going to show you the clothes real quick. Those are for the bigger babies mostly, I think. This is Carter's. This is zero to three months. That's cute. Very nicely made. It's a light pink with flowers, rosettes on it. And Peter Pan collar. And she was very generous. She does giveaways a lot for her special people. And a brand new set of um, mittens. This cute little, sorry if you hear me snuffing and coughing. I, like I said, I did have the flu. A cute, this is a sweet little bunny with her tags. Little ballerina bunny. Her tags on it. And I'm going to be... Um, and this is my favorite of all the pieces. It's like a, um, it reminds me of the old time bloomers or underwear sets, like in the olden days, like in the 1900s. And it's all lace and has the little straps up here. And it's actually pant, like pants, like pantaloons, but a whole piece with the top too. And I love that. I can't wait to get on one of these babies. I think I might try it on Tyann. Maybe. I love that. It's my favorite piece of all the stuff. That, and I, in this outfit, this little jumper, <coughs> excuse me, actually came with the um, with the giveaway clothes too. So that's all I had to show you today. And I've been trying to get back on and do videos. I've just been feeling really under the weather, pretty pretty bad. But I'm happy that I'm feeling a lot better now. And I want to introduce you to Bertha May, the chubby clown. She says, hi, aunties. And I uh, forgot her limbs are Kira limbs, so she has different limbs. She's a mixed kit, but she's a cute little chubby girl. Little clown baby. We all got to have some clowns in our life to make us happy. That was, if that's what makes us happy. So um, I just want to come on to a quick video today and tell you, where I've been, I've been missing because I've been sick. I've been wanting to get to y'all and do videos, but just haven't felt up to it. So I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll be back in the next couple of days, hopefully with some more videos. I do have another gorgeous baby that came into the nursery. 
And I'll give you a hint since since it's been so long since I made a video. She is a mermaid and she is a spectacular mermaid. She has got so many details, it's amazing. So I'll probably have to do a couple of videos on her to show all her details. I did not make her. Um, but I'll show her next. And I'm also one of my babies that I just made a little while back, the last one I made, has going to be adopted. So I'll be doing a video showing details on that little boy. So I'll talk to y'all soon. And Bertha Mae says, kisses. Mwah. She's sending kisses to her aunties. I will see you soon. Stay safe and stay blessed. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Talk to you soon.